Hello, this is Sam from Value Tech Academy. In this video, I will discuss how to solve 5 SQL queries for your SQL Server interview preparation. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more SQL interview questions like this every week. Also, we have a free SQL course to help you practice SQL quickly using 30 scenarios. Link to this free SQL course is provided in the description. You can check it out. Let's get started now. In this video, I will be using the data set provided by Microsoft to explain the five SQL interview questions. If you want to know how to get this data set to practice these questions, check out the video we created. Link provided in description. So let's see the first interview question now. We need to write a SQL query to fetch the last record from the table human resources dot department. So let's see the data in this table. You can see in this table human resources dot department we have total 16 records. The question is we need to write a query to fetch the last record from this table. So the last record if you see it is going to be the 16th record. The record with department ID 16 is the last record in this table. So in this table, if you see, the last record is the one having the highest department ID. So the department ID column is a unique column. And if you see here, this is the last record. And by getting the highest department ID, you will be able to get the last record in this table. So let's get the highest department ID. So using the max function, you can get the highest department ID from this table. And now you can see the highest department ID is 16. We got it. And what we need to do is we just want to use this department ID to get the last record so that we can use using a where clause. And we are going to pass the value and we can get the last record using the department ID 16 and that value we can get using this query. Add this to this where condition. And now you can see we got the last record in this table. So in this way we can solve this question. Let's see the second question now. Write a SQL query to get the bottom 50% rows in the table. And the table name is human resources dot department. So let's see the data once again. In this table, we have 16 records and we need to get the bottom 50% of the rows. So bottom 50% means from row number 19 and all the way till 16 we need to get. So only these 8 records are going to be the bottom 50% rows in this table. So let us first rewrite this query by ordering them in a reverse way. And now we can see right the table records are totally reversed and now and from here we can take the first 50 percent rows using the keyword percent and you can see we got the bottom eight records that is records from 9 to 16 we got now but they are in the reverse order so again we can rewrite this query to order them in an ascending order we are going to get the results from this particular result set and now we can give this result set a name and now we are going to reorder this result set in an ascending order. Now 
now you can see right we got the bottom 50 percent of the rows from this table human resources dot department so these are the bottom 50 percent rows rows number from 9 to 16 the eight records we got it so let me explain it once again so we have total 16 records so what we are doing is first step we are going to reorder this in a descending order so the records from the bottom will be at the top to do this we will be using this order by keyword and we'll be using the descending to order this department id in a reverse way and then we will get the only top 50 percent from that result set so what will happen is when we use this order by this particular one all the records will be in the descending order and then from that we are going to take the top 50 percent using this top 50 percent keyword so if you see here we got only the top 50 percent that is in the reverse order so from 9 to 16 we got it and in order to make this in an ascending order we are just using this result set and then again we are ordering it using the keyword asc see so this is how we can solve this interview question let's see the third interview question write a sql query to display odd and even email ids separately from the table person dot email address so let's query this table We have this email address ID and we need to display only odd and even email IDs separately. So we have both odd number and even numbers right here. So we need to separate email IDs with odd numbers and email IDs with even numbers. So for that we'll use the modulo 2 operator on this email ID column. And by using modulo 2 and if it is equal to 1 it's going to be odd numbers and you can see here right all the email address IDs are odd numbers so this query is to get the odd email IDs and if you want to get the even IDs so what we need to do is we just need to replace this one by zero so here we have this modular 2 and after equal we just need to make it zero so this will fetch only the even records from the table so here you can see we got email ids which are only even see so using this model operator 2 we can separately get even IDs and odd IDs from the table. Let's see the fourth SQL interview question. Write a SQL query to find count of duplicate last names and the table name provided is person.person. .person. So let's see the data here. We have the last name column here and what we need to do is we need to find the last name that are more than once that is last names that are duplicate values so what we do is we'll first count how many last names are there in this table so let's group these last names together and we'll use the count function to find the number of last names You can see here we got the count of each last name so there are some last name that are only once and there are some last names that are three times in this table and what we need to do is we want to find only the duplicate last name so it means we want to find only last names that are more than once in this table so to do this we can use the filter condition having
and now using this filter condition we can get only the last names that are more than once in this table so let's run this one and now you can see we got only last names that are more than one that is we got only the duplicate last names in this table see and we you can also like verify this in this table And you can see the last name Abercrombie is like three times. So in this way, you can write a SQL query to find the count of duplicate last names in this table person dot person. Let us see the fifth SQL interview question. Write a SQL query to extract only the date values from the date time column transaction date. And the table provided is production dot transaction history. So let's see the data in this table. And you can see the column name transaction date. And if you see this values, it is date time values. We have date and time in this column values. So the question here is we need to extract only the date values from this date time column transaction date. So let's see how we can do this. Let me rewrite this query with the required column. So we got the transaction date column values and from this particular column we need to extract only the date values. Okay, So we just want to exclude the timestamp. So to do this we can use the convert function. So we'll apply the convert function on this column transaction date. So we need only the date from this column. And when you run this, this particular convert function will extract only the date from this transaction date column values. And you can see we got only the date values from this column. So in this way, you can extract only the date values from a daytime column. To learn SQL interview questions every week, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you want to practice more SQL queries using scenarios, check out our playlist for practical SQL scenarios. Link provided in description. Thanks for watching this video.